Yo, what's good out there everyone? It's Roll Easy here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over the solo money glitch workaround. Still as easy as ever. There's a few changes that I do want to go over, but we'll get into it right after this message. If you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my latest videos. If you're also interested in GTA 5 online modded accounts, go ahead and go to my latest upload and click on this link in the description. This will lead you to the website Digizani. This is the most trusted site to purchase cash and rank services on all platforms for GTA 5 online at reasonable prices. Don't forget once you're done shopping, add the discount code EEZY to save some money at the end of your checkout. All right, so getting into the video, what we're gonna be doing is first, obviously shout out the founders. They will be down in the description. Go check all of them out. Now, what you're going to need for this glitch, you need a CEO office. Now, I recommend having Arcadius, and uh, it's all about the location. You need a CEO garage, you need the mod shop in the CEO garage, and you need a Benny's car to dupe. So remember, the LG Retro Custom sells for the most. Uh, this method, you do need custom plates, and the reason you do is to stay glitched out so you, that you can keep doing this over and over again. If you want to use the MOC method to get fresh plates, you know, clean plates, you can, but it unglitches you every time. So you're definitely going to want to stay glitched. So I definitely recommend doing this method with the custom plates. Now we're going to get into all of that right now. Okay. So here is the workaround to get glitched out. So you want to go to your CEO office and go to the shower. Okay. Now go ahead and go to play quick jobs. The doomsday heist launch it alone. Are you sure? Yes. Now we're going to be looking for a job now when it says populating lobby and guys this can be tricky okay because sometimes it comes up too fast sometimes it launches you up in the clouds you just got to come back and try again all right doesn't mean it's patched it's just that's what happens so populating lobby comes up right now i hit right d-pad to enter the shower okay that's the new way to do it but we're not done yet press triangle or y to get out of the shower you want to do this quick okay because it doesn't fully stop the looking for a job you're going to notice right now so check it out on the bottom right i'm still looking for a job you need to run out of that bathroom as quick as you can and hit exit to ground over at the elevator okay you want to get outside as fast as possible now I had a few instances where I actually got shot up in the clouds while running to the elevator. That will happen too, okay? So there is a little bit of luck that goes with hitting this glitch, but once you hit it once, you're good. So now you want to run straight over to this circle that we've been using to get glitched out with in you know the previous method, the special race series. Once you run into that, open up your interaction menu and style will be glitched out and you're ready to do the solo money glitch. So that is the workaround, okay? So I recommend you have an office, you know, or an apartment or something you're using that's really close by to the circle. Okay, so now what you're going to go ahead and do is open up your interaction menu and you're going to be grabbing one of these special vehicles. Okay, so just like in the last workaround and the last few, we've been using special vehicles. You're going to go ahead and call one up. Now, this one right here is the aqua all right this this version is the aqua and you're gonna notice there's no pv icon on the map there's no personal vehicle icon whatsoever okay that's because you're in a glitch day right now so what you want to do is take a special vehicle that can go into los santos customs okay and must be able to enter los santos customs so obviously nothing like the phantom wedge you know and i don't think the wastelander fits in there either but uh yeah so once you take it in here you can use the rocket voltec also that's another one that can come in here you want to change something cheap on it like the plate color i don't have plate options on here so i just changed the horn all right nice and cheap and go ahead and exit out of lsc all right so like i said whatever special vehicle you're bringing in here just make one small modification on it anything will do okay so now once you've done that you can make your way back over to your ceo garage all right so we're pulling up right here to the ceo office and i'm going to run into the blue circle and i'm going to go ahead and go to office garage too now, Office Garage 2 is where I have my Elegies that I'm riding over and my Benny's Elegy Retro Custom, which I'm duping, okay? Now, this method, you do want a custom plate for it. I'll get into that little part right, you know, at the time, but for now, this is the custom plate method. So, you want to go ahead and get in the car you want to dupe and press right D-pad, all right? Once we press right D-pad, I got my glitching plate on there. We're going to be entering into the mod shop. So... Now, once we're in the mod shop, you want to go ahead and, once again, make a small modification on the vehicle. Anything will do. Change the color of the license plate for this method, just to make it nice and simple. If you want to change the plate, exit the vehicle, go ahead and come back into the vehicle, and then you want to press right D-pad. All right? So, 
Press right D-pad, it will glitch out for a second and send you straight back into the CEO garage. Now we have our dupes. So this is looking just like the old method. Uh, this is where... Uh, so there, there's a few things you can do here to get the car to spawn out on the street. Lesser text is obviously always an option, but it unglitches you now. So this is method one. Method one is go to a different office garage, come back, and then go to the ground. Okay, that's what I'm doing right here. So I'm entering office garage one. Okay, and I'm going to show you a second method to do this on the second go around. Okay, so if this method doesn't work right here to get the car to spawn outside, I'll show you another way to do it. So now I'm going to go right back to Office Garage 2, and that's where I have the duplicates, okay? And you'll still see them bouncing around in the garage. All right, so there are the dupes right there, just like I said. And I'm going to go ahead and exit to ground. So that's the first method. If you if this works for you and you go outside and your car spawns out on the street like it does for me right here in the video, then this is your method. You can do this one every time if you want. So just like that, I have the car outside. Now, this is where it differs. Now, see, I still have style glitched out. If I grab my MOC and drive it in there with, you know, an RH8 that's in there and ride over it, you can do that and you'll get a fresh plate, but it, like I said, it's going to unglitch your style. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and drive back into that same office garage that I know I have some elegies that I can ride over, and I'm going to go ahead and just write right over one of those elegies. And there we go. Okay, I've overridden an elegy. I have a brand new elegy Retro Custom that's fully saved and ready to go. So because I still use the CEO garage, my style is glitched out. I can go ahead and actually redo the glitch once again. So all I got to do is hit exit to ground, go outside, check my style to make sure that it's still grayed out and I'm in the glitch. I'm going to go to vehicles and I'm just going to call up the technical aqua, okay, or aqua technical. Now, same as before, when you call it up, it's not going to have a personal vehicle icon, okay? So all of that is still the same. But like I said, guys, I... I, I definitely prefer merge glitches, you know, where you get a fresh plate every time. But in this case, just get a custom plate. And if you don't have one, it kind of sucks. You ha you'd have to do this over and over again. But I'm telling you, it's worth it to have custom plates because this glitch is freaking simple. All right. So simple and fast to do with this method. Now, like I said before, grab the special vehicle that you're able to take into Los Santos Customs and you want to make a small modification on it. All right, we're going to be changing the horn on this. You can change the plate color or whatever you'd like. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go to the horn section and pick one of these cheap horns, all right? Stock horn is 500 bucks. That works for me. Go ahead and exit out of Los Santos Customs, and you want to take this right back over to your CEO garage. So, guys, the whole point is we always have to glitch out a vehicle in some way with this glitch. In the very beginning, it was the, the Deluxo, then the Oppressor and all that stuff, and then we started moving into special vehicles. So hop out of the special vehicle and then go in the CEO garage on foot. So this is the one where you have the Benny's vehicle that we're duping, in our case, the LG Retro Custom. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hop into one of these. Either one will work. I have a custom plate on both of them. So I'm going to go ahead and hop in this one and hit right D-pad to enter the mod shop. Okay? And if you guys haven't noticed, when it comes to making cars stick and saving them, usually you have to make a modification. That's just how it works, okay? So we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and change the plate color to anything I want. Uh, you can even change the plate itself if you want to. Exit the vehicle. Go ahead and press Y or triangle to get right back in. And we're going to press right D-pad. Okay, so this is where you end up back in the garage and you end up, you know, with the dupes. So I already showed you the first method how to get one of these dupes, you know, or the dupe itself, you know, the unmarked car to go ahead and sit outside waiting for you. So that was one method. This is the second method, okay? And both of them happen to work for me in this video. So when you have the dupes in the garage, go ahead and exit to your office, okay? So you wanna go ahead and enter the office. Now, once we spawn in the office, I don't know why it works this way, but you know, this was a method I saw in another video and it seemed to work for me too. So go ahead and just now tap on down on the D-pad, okay? Just keep tapping down on the D-pad and you see your map extends and stuff. That's what you want it to do. So tap on it a few times and extend the mini map, you know, maybe four or five times should do. Now go ahead and go to the elevator and hit exit to ground, okay? And if this method worked for you, if you did it exactly how you saw me do in the video right now, then you will have your dupe spawned outside waiting for you. And this one even spawned closer. So as you can see, both methods work. So those are the two different things that you can actually do for this glitch to get the vehicle to spawn outside. Now, like I said, Lester Heist text will work, but that unglitches the style. So you have to do that over again. 
So take this over to your CEO garage since we're doing the custom plates method and I'm going to go ahead and override an RH8 and you know, we would just rinse and repeat after that. Okay guys. So that's going to be it for me. My name is Roll Easy. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button, turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out and have a good one.